The chief of Bangladesh Air Force has flown a sortie on India's Tejas trainer aircraft, and officials have said that India has agreed to send its Tejas Mark I fighter jets to participate in the Bangladesh Air Show 2022, in which China will send its J-10C, while Pakistan has refused to send its JF-17, as Bangladesh has refused to buy the JF-17 in previous offers. Hal Chief has said that the first export order is likely to come in the next couple of years, and the company is working to establish logistics facilities in foreign countries, as several countries have expressed strong interest in the Tejas light combat aircraft. The chief executive of Hindustan Aeronautics MIG Complex has said that the discussion between Indian Air Force Russia and Hindustan Aeronautics on the Super Shukhoi program has reached an advanced stage, and while some of the local upgrade work has started internally, the decision on the Super Shukhoi upgrade program with Russia will be taken by August 2021. 42 Su-30 fighters are currently being modified to carry the 450 km range Brahmos air-launched supersonic missiles, while the last Su-30 aircraft of the total contracted 260 units is currently undergoing final acceptance test, while the order for 12 additional Su-30 fighters will be placed soon. After the confirmation by the Chief of Aeronautical Development Agency that certain parts for the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet has entered production, the Indian Air Force Chief has said that the government's funding for the AMCA will come in the current financial year, which means that the much-awaited next generation fighter program will get its funding next month. He also said that the Air Force has committed to procure 40 AMCA fighters in Mark I configuration powered by General Electric's F-414 engine, and 90 AMCA fighters in Mark II configuration powered by a jointly developed engine with a foreign manufacturer. The NASIC division of Hindustan Aeronautics is currently focusing on the repair and overhaul of Su-30 fighters at a rate of 20 fighter jets per year, and will undertake the production work of AMCA fighter jets when it is ready for production. The DRDO Center for Airborne Systems will equip the A320-based 6 Netra Mark II Airborne Early Warning and Control System with a gallium nitride-based improved AESA radar system an upgraded suite of artificial intelligence-based communications and electronic intelligence gathering sensors, and its scanning range and tracking capabilities will be between 300 to 360 degrees. The 6A320 aircraft are ready to leave for France for refurbishment and modification, and all six Netra Mark II aircraft will be handed over to the Indian Air Force by 2026. The gas turbine research establishment has teamed up with the French software corporation Dassault Systems, that will help in 3D design modeling and engineering software for the development of the 47 kN cavalry dry engine prototype. The gas turbine research establishment will conduct performance and operability demonstration of the cavalry dry engine across different flight envelopes in the altitude test facility in the later half of 2021, and the facility can simulate the conditions of Mach 3 speed at an altitude of 75,000 feet. A Chennai-based startup company has tied up with Bharat Earth Movers Limited for joint development of artificial intelligence-based unmanned ground vehicle. The company has said that a 750 kg unmanned ground vehicle equipped with a highly efficient electric motor is currently being developed for logistics and surveillance operations in extreme weather and terrain conditions, and it will be able to carry heavy load which is usually carried by 10 soldiers and also provide power to the soldiers through its battery. They also said that Indian Army's design bureau had helped them in the initial stages, and they are confident that the unmanned ground vehicle will be launched by the end of 2021, and the production can begin by 2023. While talking about the 200 CAM of 226 helicopter project, the chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the indigenous content of the first batch of 35 helicopters is only 3.3%, 
15% indigenous content for the second batch of 25 helicopters, 35% indigenous content for the third batch of 30 helicopters, and 62.4% indigenization for the last 50 helicopters. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace has said, that the Indo-Russian BrahMos missile system is now 70% indigenous by value, and a significant amount of subsystem including missile airframe, booster, electronic seeker and ground systems have been fully indigenized. He also said, that a 3.5 Mach capable BrahMos next generation missile is being developed, that will also be equipped on the Tejas light combat aircraft. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has signed a contract to deliver a 300-ton fast patrol vessel to Seychelles. The vessel will be fitted with a 40mm anti-aircraft gun, and has a maximum speed of 34 knots and an endurance of more than 1,700 km, and is fully equipped to undertake maritime security operations. A U.S. Army contingent of 500 soldiers along with striker infantry fighting vehicles have arrived in India to participate in the 16th edition of the India-U.S. Joint Military Exercise near Pakistan border, that will start from tomorrow and will conclude on 21 February. The two armies will engage in missions ranging from joint planning counter-operations and joint tactical operations, that will further boost interoperability between the two forces. Oh, my God.